What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about DVI, Digital Vehicle Inspection. It just got better. The only thing was missing uh, from our Digital Vehicle Inspection to comparing to Bolton Technology was the ability to take a photo, attach a photo uh, or photos with an S, then attach the photos or videos to the inspection itself. Uh, now VIP can do that. Uh, before we do that, I just want to show you our uh, self-checking app that our VIP customer are taking advantage versus anyone else. Remember, you can put this one on a tablet, or um, or you can make have a station on your uh, inside your uh, waiting room, uh, whatever you want. So let's check it out. Let's assume we have a customer here, and he's an existing customer. He's just checking in, and he's here for an old change, and he's gonna select his vehicle, and he's just gonna type in old change, continue. This is your term. is gonna be right here. I accept and that's it the customer is done so let's go back to your end right here service rider end so we can see it is in the blue so anytime you see one in the blue that means uh, the customer uh, signed himself and we're gonna click on that and if you look right here it says the customer request right here he needs an all change but before let's we're gonna click on basic all change for the automatically but before we do that, we gotta do the vehicle inspection. We'll go to DVI. So we can see the last time the vehicle inspection was nothing wrong with it. But this time, everything checked out except the pads and rotors are grinding. So we're gonna go to the rear, we're gonna auto populate what's wrong with the, with the failed items. And we're gonna take a picture of the failed items. I'm gonna use my phone Remember, all you need is just any phone as long as you have Google Photos on it. I'm going to click on the camera, just open the camera, not a special app, just a camera. And um, I'm going to take a picture of a, of a rotor from the internet. And that's it. I'm just taking a picture of a rotor from the internet. And usually it takes like 10 to 15 seconds. So by the time you walk back um, to the computer, um, you, the picture should be ready for you. We're gonna click on add photo. You see the add photo right here? It's gonna take it to Google Photos and this is the picture I just took. I'm gonna assign it. When I assign this, via, uh, this photo to the vehicle inspection, it's different than when I assign a photo uh, from here to the invoice itself. Remember that. So if I assign a photo right here to, let's say I assign this video, this video will always be assigned to this invoice only. But if I go to the vehicle inspection and I see that assigned picture, this picture will only be assigned to the vehicle itself. What's that mean? Let me just try to simplify this. Assume that the guy cashed out and pay cash, cash. And let's go back to the same customer And we're gonna select the same vehicle. If I go to add a photos for the estimate, there's no photos selected. If I go to the vehicle inspection from last time and I click on DVI and I see, oh, the bad pads and rollers were, were something wrong with them. And I click on the photos. You see, it's always gonna remind me so I can add as many photos as I want. Assume I want to email this customer that photo with the inspection. I'm going to click on create link, create link, copy, exit, email. So I'm going to email it to myself so that way we can see it, how it looks like, how it does look like from a customer end. I click send email. I'm going to exit. Remember, we can check our email from here now. I'm going to click on Gmail. And if we look right here, there's an email from the customer. It says, A, hey, attach to this email, copy your vehicle inspection, and click on the link below to see the photos. Let's look at the vehicle inspection first. We'll look at the vehicle inspection. Everything is good, except the pads and rotors. And it says, the fail item right here, pads and rotors. Let's go back, let's click on the link. And if you look, this is the photos. Obviously, I would suggest have multiple photos. 
and customer can see what's wrong with his car. He can zoom in, zoom out, the whole thing, which is brilliant. That's how you attach a photo. Let me bite my stuff. That's how you attach a photo to a vehicle inspection. Um, anytime, if I want to add a different photo, say I added this photo. If I go to the vehicle inspection, check the photos. I think I added it to the estimate. All right, let's add it again. Um, let's go back. Let's add this photo. Exit. Photos. So we're gonna have multiple photos. And you can remove it, it doesn't matter. Remember, vehicle inspection, basically the way I describe it, is a profile of each vehicle. And what, the, or, or the best, the best, better description is the health of the vehicle. How the vehicle do it? Does it have, does it need oil change? Does it have oil leak? Does it need an oil change? Um, does it need tie rods and all that? Underbody, under hood, which is the most common one. If you're body shop, probably gonna do some of the windshields broken, uh, lights, body, there's a dent or something, auto populate, which is pretty cool. So, and now we have the photos. So basically, right now, whatever uh, bolt on technology has, we have. Uh, it, it literally whatever any shop management has plus uh, bolt-on technology we have uh, we have square for payments which is really integrated amazing you can see the invoice the payment information like the last four digit and the authorization code on the invoice itself um, we have digital inspection now it's really can be called digital inspection because you can have the photo section right here um, um, what else we have text messaging we have online ordering all the technology that exists uh in our industry right now it's already included in vip shop management the best price ever um uh, it's amazing it's really cool it's really really cool so anyway i guess that's it for today i appreciate you guys watching until next time thanks for watching